In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can deal with this situation, which comes up when you try to activate a Conda environment. So let's replace the problem. So we say Conda activates bioinformatics. So what we need to do is to specify a shell okay so this is the approach we are going to use we are going to use this command here and we also need to specify a shell because that is what Panda will use so i am using a linux system so i will specify bash so what i'll do is to say Panda in it and then i indicate the shell i want to use which is bash so i'll run this command so once I do it and it's successful, I'll have this statement here, which tells me to close and reopen my current shell. So let's open a new shell. Okay, we have opened a new shell. So this is what I have. Notice this name here, base. This is the base environment. So Normally, if you are using an Anaconda, you will be switching between environments. So what we have here, every time we open a new shell, we are going to have this base environment shown here. So I normally recommend that because you will be switching between environments, you change this behavior so that you yourself activate the environment that you want instead of always coming to deactivate this base before activating your environment so let's change the behavior so we will say conda config set auto activate base and we say false so now we have changed this behavior so we need to open a new shell so let's do that let's open a new shell okay we have opened a new shell so you will notice that the base environment has not been activated so now we can activate our environment so i will say conda activates bioinformatics now it has been done we can deactivate so i'll say conda deactivates and that's about it if you also want to learn more about Anaconda, if you want to learn how to use Anaconda to install data science tools and bioinformatics tools, then I will encourage you to watch the videos in this playlist.